Hey, 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 hey. What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Reverend Jew. And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Speak Pink. And this particular series that we're launching today is our 50 Days to 50 series. I've been holding off and waiting to share these conversations with you because I knew I wanted to do 50 days of podcasting um, as I go into my 50th, 50th year in January. And today is the beginning of that. And to all of you that are listening to this message, I'm so excited and grateful that you're sharing this season with me. I'm super excited about turning 50 and being on this 50 day count up, (laughs) not necessarily count down. I don't believe I'm going down. I do believe things are going to go up and I'm really, really excited. So, um, This is the 50 Days to 50 series on Speak Pink. And let me just say this. um, I have chosen to celebrate turning 50 and calling this season of my life Volume 2. So um, most people say Chapter 50 or Chapter This, but for me, it's Volume 2. I'm going to allow the book to end at 49 (laughs) and when I turn 50 will be the beginning of volume two I really do believe with all that has happened and gone on that turning 50 will be um will just be will just be another will be a door let me say it that way will be a door into um a way of living that honors my past honors the things that I've been through the the heartbreak, the pain, the trauma, the good days, the new new experiences. And after 50, I get to build upon those. I get to build upon those in some really amazing ways. And I'm really excited about it. So one through through 49, I'm going to say volume one was all about learning, all about learning and growing and becoming 50 plus is all about execution, baby. <laughs> what am I going to do with all I have seen, heard, experienced? And listen, I know there's still some more for me to learn. I'm not, I'm not saying that as if I have arrived at a plateau where there's no more learning and no more experiencing. No, I'm not saying that at all. But I do believe that there's so much that wisdom and experience that 50 plus I can build upon that and still grow and still learn and still experience new things. And uh, so so turning 50 volume two is really going to be about building upon all the life lessons, the good, the bad, the ugly and the indifferent. And um, and so I'm really excited to share this time of my life with you all and to share, you know, what's you know, what what what's next in store for me. So. With that being said, um, so I'm celebrating going into 50. And I I know a lot of people that were not looking forward to turning 50. Um, Things had not gone the way they expected. There were a lot of disappointments. And I've had my fair share of disappointments. I do believe it's perspective. And so I'm not not downing anyone who has a different perspective about aging and about becoming 50 or middle age. um, Because everybody has to take their journey. I'm just sharing that for me. I'm excited to build upon what has been the good, the bad, the ugly, indifferent, the gains and the losses, the disappointments and the successes and to build upon those and really make 50 plus, you know, some amazing years. Um, And the other reason I'm really excited about turning 50 is that when I look at great leaders now who are in their 70s and 80s, many of them did not really get started until they were in their late 40s and their 50s. Now, yes, we have a plethora of anomalies, people who, you know, were 19, 20, 22, 23, 30, who, who, gained a level of success and famed them and starred them and all those kinds of things very early. And, and those stories are great and they're needed. 
I do believe, though, there's a great story for those who get what we consider middle age in our nation and boom, life just explodes. And I'm ex- I'm expecting explosion. I'm believing in explosion. I'm expecting explosion. And I'm looking forward to explosive 50 plus. And because I look 30-ish, late 30-ish, maybe 40-ish, <laughs> um, I don't look like how old I am, which is great. I, you know, I'm going I'm to take that. I'm going to take advantage of that. Um, and, uh, you know, thank God for my ancestors and ge- good genes and, you know, a few good health tips that I follow. But so I'm choosing to celebrate aging. I'm choosing to celebrate becoming what they call middle age. I'm choosing to celebrate this season of my life and to really see it become something great. So 50 days to 50 starts today. So. Day 50 of 50. Here's the lesson. Here's, here's, here's lesson one that I want to share with you. Here's a lesson I learned. Um, I was probably in maybe kindergarten or first grade. And I, I, have, I, remember, I remember this very clear. And there was a young girl in my class um, who had, you know, she had, she wanted, you know, she had, she had, some things that um, other people in class wanted and um, some toys or some little knickknack stuff. You know how kids are. They have stuff. And um, and I remember asking if I could have one. And uh, she said no. And I remember um, my teacher, you know, just kind of saying, it's okay, Najuma. You know, <laughs> she doesn't have to share and it's OK. And she gave me something else. And I really thought, wow, what a great teacher. That's very kind of her. And I mean, I'm using those words kind now, but I probably felt it. I didn't use that word then because I was only uh, for first grade kindergarten, one of the two. But I just remember being very comforted by this woman's response to my classmate, who was not necessarily the friendliest in that moment. Um, and I thank God for women like that and angels like that who would step in um, and see, you know, the need of a little child and speak to that and minister to that. And one of the things that I've learned in my 50, my 49 years um, is to is this power of stepping in on behalf of people. And, um, you know, being an advocate for them or just stepping in to let them know that what they're experiencing in the moment, um, while it might not feel good, but it's going to be okay, And they're going to be okay. And really, my life is filled with moments where I wasn't sure if things are going to be okay. but having people who stepped in. And so I just think it's important that, you know, that we that we do that for people. And I know one of the things that I want to use my 50 plus years to do is to be that person for other people or continue to be that person for other people to to step in and to assure folks that everything is going to be all right. So today's message is to let you know that everything is going to be all right. And if I look back over the last 49 years If I haven't learned anything, and I've learned a lot of things, is my teacher was right. It's okay. Everything is going to be all right. She was right then. And if she was here today, I'd have to tell her, you are right now. Everything is going to be okay. It's okay. Everything is going to be all right. And so whoever's listening to this, however you're listening, wherever you're going through, and yes, I use a little childlike example, but the reality is we get, we face all kinds of disappointments in life. But one of the things I've learned is that everything is going to be okay. Life has a way of working out and everything is going to be okay. So I want to encourage you to know whether it's family or friends, personal, interpersonal, conflict, divide, chaos, everything. It's okay. Everything's going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. So that's our 50 day to 50 
life lesson. I got 49 more to share with y'all. <laughs> but lesson number one is everything is going to be okay. And I really appreciate learning that lesson now and how and being able to know that I can use that going forward with whatever else comes my way. With whatever else comes my way. Everything is going to be okay. So, day 50 of 50. Thank you for letting me share. And just remind yourself, everything is going to be okay. Put your name in it. Like she said, Minjuma, it's okay. Everything's going to be okay. And to whoever is listening to this, whatever your name is, it's okay. And everything is going to be okay. Be at peace. Be patient with the moment. Because <laughs> everything is going to be okay. I'm out, y'all. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another life lesson from the last 49 years. Peace. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for being tuned in to Speak P for the first installment of 50 Days to 50 here on Speak Ping. Peace. Hey, 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 hey. Make sure you share this with someone, please.